Greetings, I'm Aaliyah Hodges and this is your WSSU Channel 96 News Web Update. In the news today, neighbors at a Garden City apartment complex helped police arrest an arson suspect. 27-year-old Rashina Odom is charged with setting fire to her own unit inside Westgate Apartments. Garden City police had actually taken Odom off their suspect list, but neighbors offered new information that said she was the one who set the blaze, which destroyed her apartment and forced several others from their homes. When investigators searched Odom's apartment, they found a cellarant inside. Odom is one of more than 30 tenants getting evicted after a manager was arrested for letting people live there without going through proper background checks. In addition to the physical evidence, police say she made several statements to neighbors about wanting to, quote, blow the place up. She is charged with first degree arson. Investigators say Odom may not have acted alone and they expect to make more arrests. No charges have been filed in the violent incident Thursday in a normal, peaceful Savannah neighborhood. Police say 39 year old Joseph Bradley Baden opened his front door and opened fire when he found a man standing there with a shotgun. Metro police were called to the Colonial Village at Godley Lake Apartments just before three Thursday afternoon. That's off Benton Boulevard near Pooler. Police say 25 year old Rufus Harris was found lying in a breezeway on the second floor with at least one gun gunshot wound. He died at the hospital. Anyone with information about this case is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 912-234-2020. The Marine accused of stealing a Port Royal fire truck and taking it on a deadly ride all while naked will stay in the Beaufort County Jail. Calvin Hunt entered the Beaufort County courtroom in a wheelchair, wearing a bulletproof vest and anti-suicide gown, suicide gown. It was over in just few minutes when Hunt, who was charged with murder, waived his right to a bond hearing. He's still recovering from injuries of an alleged joyride in a stolen fire truck that killed pedestrian Justin Miller. Newt Gingrich says a vote for him for president is a vote to lower the price of gas. Gingrich made a campaign stop in Savannah Friday, saying if elected, he can get gas down to $2.50 a gallon. He claims more supply of natural gas into the market, something supported by President Obama, proves more drilling of oil would be a good thing, too. A five-day march kicked off in Alabama Sunday to commemorate the historic 1965 Selma to Montgomery voting rights marches. The march was led by Reverend Al Sharpton and began at Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma. It will end with a rally at the Alabama State Capitol building in Montgomery on Friday. About 3,000 participants joined in support of voting rights. The first of three historic marches on behalf of minority voting rights began in Selma on March 7th of 1965. Here in campus news, Savannah State University is competing again in the Home Depot Retool Your School Campus Improvement Program. Home Depot will award one major grant of $50,000, a campus pride grant of $25,000, and 11 minor grants of $10,000 to each winning HBCU. The HBCU that receives the most alumni, faculty, students, friends, and consumer online votes will win the major grant. And I'm certain we have enough alums and friends out there to win. You can vote multiple times per day from your computer, iPhone, laptop, or iPad. Online voting has begun and ends on April 10th of 2012. Just go to www.retoolyourschool.com backslash vote dash now. Please spread the word to friends on Facebook, Twitter, family members, and coworkers that SSU needs their help. We will be competing with 62 other HBCUs. In sports, the Savannah State University men and women's basketball teams are playing for the first time in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It began March 4th and goes through the 10th. Tickets for the event are now on sale through SSU Ticket Office and online. The SSU Ticket Office can be reached at 912-358-3431. Tickets are offered at a flat rate of $75 for the entire week of events. Monday, March 5th is tip-off for first round of the women's tournament. Tuesday, March 6th is tip-off for the first round of the men's tournament. The event wraps up Saturday, March 10th with the men's championship airing on ESPN2 at 1 p.m. and the women's championship on ESPNU at 4 p.m. 
A big honor today for Savannah State's men's basketball coach, Horace Brotnax. He's been named Coach of the Year by the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference in his first year of MEAC competition. Brotnax led the Tigers to the conference regular season title with a 14-2 conference record, 21-10 overall. This has been your WSSU Channel 96 News Web Update. I'm Aaliyah Hodges, and have a great day.